Hey guys, what's going on? Abby here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Perdition 1280 Master Law Sector. I'm going to be giving you guys my tips and tricks on each class and how I got through this in order for you guys to farm out those exotics or just to get the triumphs for doing the Master Law Sector. If you enjoy videos like these, make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get into it. There's going to be timestamps down below with the different classes running through this Law Sector. So if you want to go ahead and skip through you can do that as well but as we make our way there let's take a look at the master lost sector modifiers we've got the master modifier famine which means you're going to see less ammo drops and we've got void damage as our burn you're also going to see two vex minotaur overload champions and four vex minotaur barrier champions on the 1250 there's only two barrier champions and the 1280 there are four we're also going to come across two void minotaurs and then a bunch of arc harpies so the first loadout and gameplay is going to be for hunter but i use the same weapons on every class just so you guys know i found that this is the most efficient and best loadout for me it works the best for me at the level i'm at if you are a little bit lower level then you could try using some more long range weapons perhaps arbalist or outbreak would be a good option paired with guillotine for the void minotaurs but i run into a couple issues with this lost sector that i have to solve for and given the weapons that we currently have in destiny it's really difficult to find a loadout that matches the element and the champions in this lost sector so as i told you guys before we've got a bunch of arc harpies so we know we need an energy or a power weapon that does arc damage preferably energy because there are a lot of them so you don't want to rely on getting heavy ammo drops especially with famine being the master modifier so we're going to use the seven serif arc smg for that you could also use the ikelos smg as well the charge with light armor mod reactive pulse paired with shield break charge is also going to help us get rid of these harpies because it does arc damage whenever you take damage and you are charged with light and it only consumes one stack we're also going to be getting stacks of charge with light when we break shields with that same element type so when we break the shields with arc we're going to be getting charged with light when we break the shields with our reactive pulse we're also going to be getting charged with light so it's an extremely good synergy for this lost sector and if you have that mod i would highly highly recommend equipping it and then for the overload champions you can always rely on your stasis or solar grenades but for me i also like to have a weapon that can stun them as well in case you get in a situation where you miss your grenade or they walk out of it something buggy happens and you need to stun them normally so for your primary option i went with night watch you could go with any primary scout rifle there's only a few in the game right now that can be infused up to 1260. explosive payload on a scout rifle though is really really nice because you can stun the overload champions if you're hitting something next to it or a wall it's definitely a little bit more forgiving and then for our heavy weapon we're gonna go with lament good old lament it's like a honey badger doesn't give a you know what but this second room is really the most difficult part of this lost sector because you're going to be encountering two wyverns aka chickens and they can be pretty darn tanky now if you're a lower power level you may have to take them out at distance the sword strat may not work for you you can also use your super to your advantage to freeze them and or if you're using golden gun or something like that to take them out but for me in this second room i usually expect to die at least once or twice in order to get a couple of the champions or a wyvern or two out of the way you'll see the glacier nade strat in my other run throughs on the other classes and you can also see me use that strat in my previous lost sector guide for veil's labyrinth but on hunter i decided to go with the dust field grenade just to give you guys another option and show you that gameplay but if you're a lower power level i would definitely try to get used to the glacial nade throwing it in a way to either freeze an enemy or throwing it just in front of them so you can get your sword revved up and ready to go without taking too much damage but you can see here i just kind of went willy-nilly in there with my super got the barrier champion with my finisher and one of the wyverns died to my super so now i only have to worry about one more champion and one more wyvern now coming back up here from the respawn you're going to see we have one wyvern left so we're going to go ahead and take care of that usually i try to bait them into a dust field grenade get them frozen and then go at it And then I want to show you guys this strat that I've been using in the Perdition Lost Sector. If you stand underneath this little window here, the barrier champions will actually drop down to try and get an angle on you. So I use that to my advantage to get them down on my level and be ready with a revved up sword to take them out. 
Then we've got the boss room here with a bunch of harpies so you'll be able to get charged with light again from your shield break charge. Depending on how many revives you have here, you may want to go straight to the boss and sword the boss as much as you can before you die. But if you're a lower light level, one stomp may kill you. So just be careful with that. You can always take the boss out at range with your scout rifle. Once the boss is around half health, you're going to get another wave of adds, and this wave is going to spawn two more champions. They're two barrier minotaurs. These are not on the 1250, but you will encounter them on the 1280. And my strategy for these barrier champions is to use cover the best I can, kind of bait them around the corner while you rev up your sword and just delete them that way. If there are harpies around in the room, you can either clear them out, or if you're charged with light, you can use reactive pulse to kind of take them out as you go up to the barrier champion. And once you take the last barrier champion out, even if there are adds present, you can go for the chest and that'll get you your platinum rewards for this 1280 Lost Sector on Hunter. All right, next up is gonna be Titan. We're gonna be going with Stasis again on this one. Same weapons. I switched it up to Aikilos SMG, but like I said, you could use either. On our armor though, we are gonna be running Charged Up, which is gonna give us an extra charge with light because I had a solar chest piece here, and we're gonna be running the Armamentarium. On Titan, I also opted to use Lucent Blade instead of Powerful Friends to get a little bit of extra damage on those sword kills. But if you don't have it, Powerful Friends is always great to add a little bit of mobility if you don't have that then radiant light if you don't have that then you could pop whatever you want on there i really love using the stasis sword combo here because it allows me to get rid of that hydra straight off the gate if you miss your glacier nade and you don't get the combo and he teleports back don't worry just use your scout to take him out So on this first overload champion, I was able to be aggressive here because I was charged with light and I have reactive pulse, so I knew that that would do damage to everything around me. And so I staggered the overload to get my glacial nade back, threw the glacial nade, and then rushed him with the sword. Unfortunately, the hobgoblin got me, but sometimes that's just gonna happen and you just gotta pick yourself up and move along. At the top of the stairs, you're gonna find the next overload champion and the last overload champion. We're gonna kind of bait him around. He's gonna rush you pretty hard, throw a glacier nade, try to stun him. If he doesn't stun the first time, just pull out your scout rifle and be ready to stun him again. I've noticed that that overload tends to glitch out a little bit. Now what I do here immediately after that first group of adds is killed and they're spawning in the two barrier champions, I go straight up there and try to kill at least one. If I die, that's totally fine. Usually I do. But as long as I can get one barrier champion, that makes the other stuff a lot easier to deal with. Since we are using a sword, you want to bait these Void Shield Minotaurs as much as you can. Remember, they teleport three times before they stop. And then with the chickens, you can actually kind of stun them a little bit with your anti-barrier SMG. So use that to your advantage if you're taking a lot of fire and you need to reposition. You can stun them for a little bit and they'll stop shooting their purple stuff at you. And then when we go back in here, we've got our Titan Super. So I'm going to try to take out at least one Wyvern. That is my goal there. And then do as much work to the adds. Okay. 
And then you can see here we use the glacial nade as kind of cover against the shielded. And that's it for the second room. And then we're going to get boss room. Like I said, in the hunter overview, you can go straight up to where the boss spawns and get ready to dish out as much damage as you can with the sword. You can usually kill him in one go. And then I go back here by the chest to take some cover for the next wave of adds. We're going to get those two barrier champions. So we need to take those out. I've tried killing the boss fast enough before they spawn to get platinum rewards because when champions don't spawn, they don't count towards your rewards. But I wasn't able to do that. Let me know in the comments below if anybody has been able to do that, but I believe they just spawn automatically when the boss gets to a certain health. So there's really no way around it. But as long as you utilize cover in this boss room, you should be able to take out the barrier champions pretty easily. And that is it for the Titan run. All right, on to Warlock, my least played class. I'm going to show you guys what a scrub Warlock looks like going through this Perdition Law Sector. Here's my armor loadout, same weapons. Of course, we are using Lucent Blade in this run. And here we go. Same technique here on the Hydra. You want to make sure to take it out as quickly as possible if you can. Sometimes I will even restart my run if I don't get a lot of damage on the Hydra because the Hydra can be super annoying. I tried to freeze him with my rift it did not work but miraculously we were able to kill him without the hydra being frozen which is crazy we got a nice radiant pulse there to take out some of the harpies and then our overload is spawning we're gonna throw an offensive glacier nade throw another one since we got the stun go in for the kill and then hopefully survive these ads. All right, now that we get to the second room, the most difficult room of this lost sector, we're gonna take out these two ads quickly here, or just one of them, sure. We're gonna throw our glacial nade, and this overload is very stubborn sometimes. He does not want to be stunned. So I am very careful with this overload because there's also stuff shooting at you, especially if the Hydra is still alive for you. And you can see I am going in with the scout rifle and he doesn't get stunned. He was on cooldown for a little bit of that because when their branches around their head or whatever you want to call that is glowing white that means they're in cooldown they can't be stunned but it can be kind of inconsistent so i don't know why i didn't get stunned there it's fine we're back at it again right there i kept stunning him because i wanted the vex milk stuff to go away because you can die pretty easily in that so i try to avoid it if i can And then as we go into the room, we're going to go for the barrier champion straight off the gate, get him. Now we might die here, but we do have our super. So we're going to pop that and go for this wyvern that jumped down. There's also the minotaur next to him. So that's an easy kill as well. I'm going to try to get as much as I can with the super and then try and put myself in a good spot here. But my grenade didn't land early enough or where I wanted it to. So I ended up dying, but that's totally fine. We're going to run back up. And then do whatever that was that I did. Don't do that. <laughs> These wyverns really are the hardest enemies in this lost sector because they can pretty much one shot you. No matter what your level is, they will just stomp you or hit you straight in the face with their attack and you're done for. 
So freezing them really is the best way to go. And if they are in a finishing state, sometimes their head, when they're crouched down, they're closing their crit spot. Sometimes the head of the wyvern will obstruct the finishing icon. So try to pay attention if they are glowing at all, or if you can see that icon and finish them whenever possible. It's the best way to get rid of them. And if you have reactive pulse, you're gonna get an overshield during that finisher. So now in the boss room, we're just clearing enough ads so that we don't get melted if we go out and try to get these barrier champions. Building up our three stacks of light and then we're going after this first barrier champion. Take him out with lament and reposition ourselves. And then take out the last barrier champion and that is it for all three classes 1280 lost sector perdition of course 1250 you don't have to worry about those two barriers at the end so it's a lot easier but you still do have to worry about the wyvern so hopefully these tips and tricks among all the three classes in the entire video helped you guys out if they did leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye